Good morning. Morning. Welcome to Epcot. Today we are here to have some lunch. We actually have never been to the Regal Eagle Smokehouse in the American yeah, Pavilion. Yeah, just in the, the outside showcase. bar. Yeah, we've only been to the bar. We've been to the yeah, bar several never times, been inside which is great. Um, but yeah, we've never had the food there, so we're gonna go there today. We just want to walk around. We want to ride some rides. We yeah. thought it would be just a nice day to get out and enjoy Epcot. So we wanted to bring you guys. It should be fun. Come join us. Look what I see, a booth for Food and Wine Festival. They're getting ready already. Already. So early. They're already ready already. <laughs> well, it starts so early this I know, year, it starts in next July. Month, right? Crazy. And here we are at the Regal Eagle Smokehouse, barbecue and refreshments. Um, it's right here at the American Pavilion. There's the bar that we were talking about earlier. So you can come over here and get cocktails and beer. But we're gonna go inside. We're actually using this smoker outside. I just saw a chef putting in wood and you can definitely smell something going. I just honestly thought this was just for show, but it's awesome that it's actually used. All right, so our food has arrived. I have the jackfruit barbecue burger, and this is the plant-based option that they have. It's served on an allergy-friendly allergy garlic toast and served with your choice of side, and I decided to get the pickles. These are house-made pickles. They look really good. All right, this is very... Yeah, uh, look at this thing. Massive. That's huge. But look how they have gluten-free toast instead of a bun, so... I actually tried to make it very similar to the regular version. Yeah, you would think it'd be normally. Holy moly, well, I gotta show this. things on here. Oh, there's a burger this? and that? That's a lot. This is gonna be so much fun to watch you eat. <laughs> and the whole thing, if you're a vegan, this is, this is a vegan option that they have too. Yeah. Including the mayonnaise, everything. Yeah, there's so veganaise that comes with it. <laughs> Look at that. Like that huge bite, you barely got any. That is good. Is it? Mm. It smells incredible. Mm. The sweetness in the barbecue sauce with the savory garlic. Okay, I like this a lot. All right, I'm gonna try some pickles. I love pickles, and this is perfect for a hot day. Yeah, these are like really fresh kind of pickles. Mm. I love these kind. They're house made. Mm. Yeah. I really like these a lot. Awesome. They're not sweet. Well, they're kind of. They have a little bit of sweet. Do they really? Mm-hmm. But I like them. They're not sweet pickles, though. So. You have our ibis friend. To your right. No, no, well, no. to your left, my right. <laughs> I decided to go with the Memphis Dry Rub pork ribs, and it comes with garlic toast. And you get a choice of sides, so I decided to go with the beer battered onion rings. You're gonna try an onion ring first? I don't remember the last time I actually had an onion ring. I know you haven't had onion rings in such a long time. I'm gonna try it by itself first. Those look amazing. I got too. some barbecue sauces that one of them um, is having a leaking time yeah, right now. Yeah, he's having issues. But it's okay. <laughs> mm. Those are good. Yeah, mm -hmm. they look really good. They look fresh. Yeah, very crunchy, a little bit sweet. Mm. This is good. If you like onion rings? These are awesome. I just want to comment. Time for your ribs. Look how big these are. This is what you get. Wow. These are heavy too. They smell really good. Well, actually, yeah. that could be the smoker right here that I smell too. That too. But it was like a dry rub. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Yep. Is that what you wanted? That's it. That's <laughs> the one. These are good, so good. Yeah. Even by themselves with no sauce. This mm -hmm. is really, really good. They're not too dry? No, they're not too dry. They're not the, the pull apart from the bone type of ribs. They're a little bit more meaty. Mm -hmm. You can see I'm pulling on it. And it's, so mm -hmm. you have to work at it a little bit, but I don't mind. This is really good. Are they perfect pairing with your onion rings? Or the mm -hmm. onion rings, I guess, the perfect pairing with that? Yeah. You can see it's a little tough, but... I like it that way. This is our first time being here since the gelateria opened in Italy. So it's right here on the side. Looks like they have a lot of really good stuff. We're in the France Pavilion and I love these. You see how it looks like they're in the middle of painting? And they have the stand over here. Let's go look at it. It looks like it's about to rain. So we're trying to kind of hurry and go over to the World Show Place so we can get indoors. But look, I like all the little books. Little details like this that you just have to stop and notice when you're in the World Showcase that otherwise you would miss. And they have a Paris city map. All of these postcards it looks like are other, I guess these are smaller drawings that you could purchase from this stand. Yeah, Cause like see, these. looks like they just opened it and set it here. 
And there's more here. The back. I like that one. Oh yeah. So pretty. I love it here. We made it to the World Showplace and the main reason why we were here is for air conditioning if I'm just being honest with you. And covering from the storm that is gonna be here any minute now because we've already felt raindrops. See the wind starting to pick up? Oh goodness, good thing we made it. <laughs> that was close. I know, so <laughs> close. There's like seven people in here. Yeah, <laughs> where is, is everyone? It's so funny. Watch well, there be like 100 people around the corner. I know, as soon as it starts <laughs> pouring. No, I mean like right now. Oh. But yeah. Oh, you mean around it, this corner? Yeah. Like yeah. You can't see it, and then suddenly there's no. like 100 people. No. It's pretty empty. It's so pretty in here, though. We couldn't come in without going to the cider house, and I had to get the pink lemonade cider because I had this in the cider flight. I think the first one of the days that we went Sorry. to the festival. My shadow is playing fun oh. things on your face. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I really liked this one a lot. They have a berry. I think a berry jam or something yeah, like, it's like that. Yeah, a berry jam. Yeah, and then they also have. What was the other one? Pink lemonade, berry jam, oh no. and what was the other Why one? Is it? Watermelon. Watermelon, yes. And this one was my favorite. I like this one because it's a little bit tart, but still sweet. It tastes really good. And we had to do this because if you're waiting on the rain, what else is there to do at Epcot, really? This is the best place to go if you're looking to get away. Right. Just because it's so big. Yeah. I mean, and if you go into the restroom nobody here, here, let me know if any of you have ever been in the restroom here. <laughs> because when you walk in, it's like, Whoa, it's huge. There's, it just feels like it's ever, ever, ever going the entire restroom because there's so many stalls because this is where they normally do um, like events and conference uh, events. Yeah, and stuff. it's a conference it's space. It's massive inside. The, the first time I went into the restroom in here, I was like, whoa, <laughs> it really caught me off guard. You feel like, especially if you're the only one in there, you feel like you're in some like apocalyptic building where everybody's gone and there's this massive space. That's what happened to me. I was the only one in there and I was like, this you can is hear so like water strange. dripping in the distance and it's it echoing. Just keeps going ever expanding. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. What did you get? I got the uh, Sam Smith Organic Lager. This is from the UK. I've had it before. Super light. Perfect for this ridiculously hot day we're having. So. I do remember you having this one before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is really easy to drink. Yeah. It's not bitter at all. It's exactly what you need. Matt. You're standing in a pink glow. Oh, it's pink now? Yeah, you should start dancing. I was, I was doing a, yeah, it's it's a little cool. jig going on the music. You look really cool. Yeah, I bet, I bet I look cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Somehow, your top priority in life, huh? To uh, look as cool as possible. As possible. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's my one, one goal in all of my life. <laughs> We're getting in line for the Grand Fiesta Tour. Well, we're getting in line to get into the pavilion first, and then we're getting in line for the Grand line, yeah. Fiesta Tour. You can see what's left of the distancing markers on the floor or on the ground. They don't have them here anymore. I love this display that they have here for Coco. We're waiting in line still, and this is just such a cool... I love the details, and it looks so good. All right, we made it. We're going in now. We waited in line for about how long? 10 Maybe minutes? 10 minutes. Yeah. We passed by Sun and Hell Inn, which is a beautiful restaurant here. We have this gorgeous view. We've had here, we've had dinner here a couple of times, but I don't think we ever filmed it. It's so beautiful in this restaurant, though. This is where I had the mole chicken, right? Yeah, that is. So yeah. good. That was incredible. I love the mole chicken from here. I hope they still have it. This is really funny because we're used to physical distance markers, and it feels like. <laughs> Yeah, our bubble is gone. Our bubble got burst. <laughs> Especially in these little tunnels, right? <laughs> it's like, hey! Wait, he's a good 
amigos, no matter where he goes, the one, two, and three goes, we're always together. So I saw that Panchito and Jose and uh, Donald, the animatronics in that ride, weren't on the ride for a long time. They were being refurbished, but now they are back. They're so on I vocal think rest. They're <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're going to call it a day. Yes. Well, we're in between storms right now, so we're going to try to make it out before the next one because we need to get home to our dog. I'm sorry that we're kind of cutting it short today, but he doesn't like to stay in, well, he's not so used to storms right now. Yeah. And last year we were home with him all the time. The entire so storm season. So every time this it's is new. Yeah, every time it stormed recently, he's very scared, which he's never been scared of storms before. And normally, you know, hearing fireworks at Disney and stuff because we live close enough to where you can hear that at the parks. So <laughs> I feel like we should get home to him before this next storm hits. Um, yeah, but we're yeah, surrounded right now. We're everywhere. surrounded by dark clouds. So we're taking this opportunity to escape. Yeah, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. So sorry that we're having to cut it short. Um, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We would love to have you here. We will see you very soon. Bye. Bye.